if you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or any cheap PC games, use the referral link in the description. It will take you over to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods. And if you use the code CHEZ at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number 24 of the second series of My Player here on FIFA 16. There are just three games to go in the championship season. If results go our way with the two games today, we might be crowned champions in today's episode. We are almost definitely going to be automatically promoted in today's episode regardless of results because we have a, a significant lead over the side in third. We've got Middlesbrough first at home, following that up with a trip away from home to Huddersfield. So we'll see if we can get six points. If we get three points, then we're automatically promoted. If we get six, then we're champions. That's how things stand right now. Our goal difference is vastly superior to Cardiff and Queen's Park Rangers. So as long as we finish above them on points tally, or no, as long as we finish level on them with them on points tally, we will be above them in the final standings. So uh, we know what we have to do. All we have to do is do it. So drop the video a like if you enjoy. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on any further episodes of this series or the AC Milan career mode series which is continuing to go from strength to strength. But without any further ado, Middlesbrough. Oh. A lovely ball by George Sean to Butterfield. Here's Kamara starting ahead of Darren Bent in today's game. Bradley Johnson shrugs off the challenge there, gets it to Kamara again. Back to Bradley Johnson. <sighs> a bit floaty that shot. Had the opportunity perhaps to try and drill that towards the bottom corner or maybe whip it into the top, but unfortunately the accuracy was not there and we stay at 0-0. Oh, heavy touch by Desart. Butterfield heads that to Kamara. He's going to turn one way and then come back the other, but he's managed to get it to me and we'll play it inside there to Johnson. Kamara and Johnson link up well. Here's Butterfield in the box. Into... Oh, Bradley Johnson. Great shot. This time did get it on target, but straight at the keeper anywhere else on target and that was probably going to find itself into the back of the net. Never mind, we're still continuing to dominate possession and chance creation and hopefully it won't be long before we get ourselves in front. It was only a slim margin of victory over Hull City in the second game of the last episode and Kamara might get us an opportunity here. It's Bradley Johnson again and Dimi with another top save. Didn't quite get all behind it that time and only uh, was able to take the sting out of it for a defender to stop the uh, ball going over the line but still their goalkeeper is doing enough here to keep us out. Two minutes before half-time, Olsen just keeps that in play. Still here loitering on the edge of the box, but Middlesbrough have forced this back very well indeed here. Vyman to George Sean. Still trying to pick them apart, though. Great turn by Olsen. Brushes past the defender, but can he keep it in? No, he can't. It's going to be nil-nil at half-time. Nice turn. Gets it to George Friend. Adoma's making the run down the left, but he's not going to be able to find him. Not yet, at least. Forcing him backwards. Jordan Rhodes again involved into Adam Clayton to Gaston Ramirez. Well, he's gone for the shot from distance. Worth a sh an attempt, maybe? Worth a shot? I'm not sure. Scott Carson was very comfortably behind it. We stay 0-0 just before the hour mark. That's Middlesbrough's best effort of the game, though. Maybe this second half is going to be a continuation of the first, which is pretty stalemate so far. Stuani down the line to Gaston Ramirez. Turns inside and gets it to Stuani again. Good tackle by Will Hughes, though. George Sean into Scherner, who's just come on for Andy Vyman. Marcus Olsen coming away at pace from left-back. Here's Kamara. First touch is decent. Can slot through the man. He's going to try and play me, and I'm going to try and win that header, and I haven't been able to get there. Bradley Johnson picks up the loose ball. He's going to find the man in the middle in George Thorne. He finds Kamara, and Kamara brushes the side netting, but it goes wide. 65 minutes played. We stay at 0-0. Chance is coming at both ends in this second half, but no goals to this point. Olsen drills that into Darren Bent. Back to Thorne, to Bent. Around the corner to Will Hughes. Thorne down the line towards Scherner. This is a good move and a great cross and we'll hit it on the first time. Volley and he's gone to Darren Bent who's overhead, kicks it into the back of the net. My shot was scuffed and it sat up beautifully for Darren Bent to fly that into the back of the net. What a whipped ball in by Scherner, by the way. That is a disgustingly good cross. My shot was disgustingly bad, but Darren Bent makes up for it with that overhead kick on his left foot into the back of the net. It goes. Is that a spectacular goal to guarantee us automatic promotion into the Premier League for next season. We'll find out at the end of this game, but Darren Bent, with his 13th goal of the championship season, gives Derby County a 1-0 lead. And it comes again from Gaston Ramirez. We're on near post duty. The last one went over me. This one is doing the same. Oh, they've won the header. Scott Carson, get up. 
Where's that going? Oh my god, I don't know how they haven't scored. Scott Carson just got caught underneath a cluster of bodies there and wasn't able to do anything with that. The header comes off the bar and then he found himself on the floor as the ball headed towards the goal for a second time. But thankfully, a defender cleared. Very, very close to Middlesbrough equalising there, but we are still 1-0 in front with 13 minutes to go. Ledbetter dinks it into the box. Went for the overhead kick there, the man in the middle. Is that going to be a corner? It is. Real, real pressure here from Middlesbrough in the last 10 minutes. This is their fifth corner of the game. I've been left up on the halfway line, so if the ball comes clear, I'll be the one that it comes towards. I've called for it from Scott Carson, but he's delaying with the kick. No, he isn't anymore. Now, just give him a nudge, and oh, I was hoping he'd make the mistake and let it go in behind him. He didn't, and Middlesbrough are going to get the chance to build again. Here's Adoma trying to uh, come down this left-hand side, but we've denied him that opportunity, and Forshaw will look through that gap to find Richie Delat. But what are they going to do here, Middlesbrough? There's barely any time left. That is a strange ball from Jordan Rose, and it's going to be cleared by Buffarini in the end. I'm going to drift out wide. George Thorne will get this to Darren Bent. Just needs to hold the ball up, and we should and have gotten ourselves a 1-0 victory here. Middlesbrough's pressure wasn't enough. You can see the players rushing onto the pitch off the bench. I think that means that we're promoted, maybe? Or they're just super delighted that we got a slim 1-0 margin of victory. I'm not sure. Terrible game for me. Only a 5.4 rating. Not the best game of our career. But was it enough with that one Darren Bent goal to guarantee promotion? Cardiff City lost to Fulham. And Queen's Park Rangers beat Huddersfield. So, I don't know what that means. I think that means that we're, we're promoted and... Does it mean we've won the championship because of the goal difference? Because we were six points clear of QPR and four points clear of Cardiff. That means we're now seven points clear of Cardiff with two games to go and six points clear of Queen's Park Rangers, surely. Let's jump back. I think we may have just won the championship, lads. Let's have a quick check. We are six points clear with two games to go with goal difference vastly in our favour. Boys and girls, while still it could mathematically not happen, it is a 99.9% .9 certainty that Derby County will win the championship. We're going to get promotion into the Barclays Premier League in our first season in this new My Player series. Can we get the single point we need to 100% guarantee that that's going to happen in this game against Huddersfield? We'll find out, but I think that deserves a like if you, uh, if you ask me. Promotion to the Premier League. Buffarini to George Thorne to me. We'll get it around the corner to Darren Bent, who will find Bradley Johnson. He's got options here, Bradley. It's a great turn. Gets it to Darren Bent. Surely not Darren Bent. What a finish. That is a ripper. His 14th goal of the championship season and arguably his best. I, I was about to say, surely you're not going to shoot from there. And it flies into the top corner. A first-time shot. Keeper well beaten. What an absolute screamer from Darren Bent. Unbelievable goal. Derby 1, Huddersfield 0. Strike and a half. Becky Wells. Out wide to Jamie Patterson. Into Billing. It's dropped nicely, but Scott Carson with a brilliant save to stop Huddersfield Town from equalising. 37 minutes on the clock. Good effort, but equally impressive save. Can they get something from the corner? It's going to be Lolly to take the corner. And it comes. Should be cleared away by Buffarini and is. But only as far as Hudson, whose touch is decent, but second touch forces him wide. Cross is going to come in, but Carson claims. Wow. Really good opportunity for Huddersfield to equalise, but still 1-0 in front for us. And, of course, we only need that one single point to guarantee 100% the championship title. We are already promoted as we play here against Huddersfield Town. We're now fighting for the title rather than just promotion itself. Buffarini chills it out wide to me. Try to step over to get past the man. That's worked quite well. Bent wants it played in front of him, so we will oblige and give it to him. He's probably going to have to use me again here. Very Strong pass, but the touch was good enough to ensure that the defender didn't steal it off us. And Darren Bent has another opportunity on his left and a great save by Steer. But is it still going to drop to someone? It's going to drop back to Darren Bent, who chests that down and that shot has gone wide. Did it take a deflection? It did. It's going to be a corner. Bent is on fire, going for a practic practically a replica of the goal that he scored in the first half. Scherner's just come on for Andy Vyman. Bradley Johnson takes the corner. Oh, it reaches Scherner, and with his first touch, he turns it home. I thought the defender was going to clear that there, as he seemed favourite too, but just completely missed the ball. It was George Thorne, not Scherner. Sorry, my mistake. 2-0 Derby County, and we are now, well, pretty much guaranteed the championship title.
Our goal difference is vastly superior. We were six points clear and we're now 2 0 up. I don't know what the defender was doing. I could have sworn he should have cleared that. Yeah, he just. I don't know. I don't know what attempt that was to clear it. Real, real embarrassment defensively, but oh, it just squeezes through absolutely everybody. Great finish from George Thorne, though. Slight deflection, perhaps, to beat the keeper. Goes through the legs of uh, the defender in front of him as well, their captain. But Derby County 2, Huddersfield Town 0. We are champions, effectively, now, with just half an hour to go to 100% confirm that. Scherner down the line to Darren Bent. Can he turn inside the defender? Well, he's tried and so far been successful. Into the box, Darren Bent looking for three. Oh, it's a simple pass across to George Thorne. It's 3-0 Derby County. Thorne with a brace, Darren Bent with a goal and an assist now. This is winning the league in style, I suppose. Dominant performances from us in both of today's games. And it looks like we're going to be storming across the line to win the championship title. Scherner to me I could return the favour but Will Hughes in the middle that was a simple turn inside much easier than I expected Will Hughes will make it four we are running away with victory here and running away with the league title we've also run away with the uh, assist counter for the league this year I think that's my 22nd what a finish by the way I think that's my 22nd assist of the season which is vastly superior to anybody else in the league. I'm not sure where we stand on the uh, goal charts. We'll find out in the next episode. I think I won't look into that in today's. We'll play the final, final game of the league season in the next episode, which will obviously be tomorrow. And then we will uh, have like a little season roundup after that game so you guys can see how I personally have gotten on in this season in the Championship. But with a 4-0 scoreline here and nine minutes to go and the fact that we were basically guaranteed the title anyway... We are going to run over the line as fast as we possibly could. We're not stumbling. We're not crawling. We are sprinting full pelt over the line. Championship title inbound. Hughes to me. Give it in the middle. Back to Will Hughes. Could go to Chris Martin. And he has. And wow. Strike from Chris Martin. Very well hit. Good save by Steer, the goalkeeper. We've made a change. Or they've made a change from the corner. Not sure which. Will Hughes will take the set piece, in it comes. Chris Martin could be underneath this, he is! Off the bar, Shackles there, it's five. I can't quite believe that we've been so dominant in this game, or this episode, or this season. I was hoping for a playoff spot. We didn't necessarily start the season that, uh, that well. We were sat mid-table for a while, but we've just gone on from strength to strength since then. Shackle makes it, Derby County five, Huddersfield Town nil. <laughs> Unbelievable. There goes the final whistle, a 5-0 victory, and we have won the league title here against Huddersfield Town. I think, I think the title celebration, as in the trophy lifting, will come after the final league game of the season. Well, as loads of scarves just appear out of nowhere. So a 5-0 away victory on, in the penultimate game of the season gives us the league title here. Thank you very much for watching. Drop the video a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel too to make sure you don't miss out on that title lifting or trophy lifting episode in the next uh, episode or in the next video of this series, which I think you'll be seeing this Saturday. So it will be tomorrow at, uh, at midday. But Well, absolutely unbelievable. Darren Bent is injured and out for eight weeks somehow. He finished that game though, I think. I don't remember him going off injured, but never mind. We'll train. Maybe if our finishing goes up, we can get a little bit closer to 77 rated before the end of this season. That is the case. Finishing up to 73 now, just. And we are so very close to 77 rated. And I'm pretty sure once we play the final game of the season and it officially registers us as winning the league we'll get plenty of accomplishments for that and that will definitely knock us up to 77 rated. Derby County win the championship. 26 Wins 11 draws, 8 defeats from 45 games with just 3 points available. The lead is 7 points. Cardiff and QPR still battling it out though for that final promotion spot and we'll find out what happens. We have MK Dons at home, at home. We get to celebrate in front of the home fans at the end of the season. But for now, that's going to bring today's episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching guys. Really appreciate all the support on this series from start to finish. And well... Well, it's definitely not finished yet. We've got plenty more to achieve in this uh, second series of my player. Plenty of seasons still to play. Plenty of trophies still to be won. I'll see you next time.